Hi everybody, happy Friday and welcome to the final instalment of my series of Life Lessons from The Lion Inside by Rachel Bright, which is one of my favourite books to read with my children and I just feel like it has got so many brilliant lessons in it, which is why I've been doing this series. So last week, the well last week we as readers found out that the lion was scared of the mouse. So picking up from there, um, the, the mouse has just uh, basically said, hey, don't worry, we can, we can be friends. So we'll pick up from there. That was a magical moment for sure, when Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now that rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And Lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. And there's a couple of points here that I want to pick out. And the first is... Uh, where the mouse has realised that to have his true voice, he doesn't need to roar or to shout. He had his confidence within him all the time and he didn't need the roar that he was looking for. He didn't need to, he didn't need all the bluff and bluster that we saw from the lion earlier in the book. And this is, this is brilliant because, you know, not everybody's extroverted, not everybody's this big personality. The mouse is still little, but he f he felt big in his head now because he'd found that self-confidence. He'd found his true voice. And that is just so powerful for us to all learn. Because once, once you've found that innate self-worth that is within everybody, we just don't always realise it, the confidence comes from that. And that is humongous and so it turns out you know they're great friends so the, so a, a, a little mini lesson in the middle here as well is that lions and mice can be friends anybody can be friends with anybody our our similarities as humans are, are what can bind us together and our, our differences mostly um can be what creates such a rich society because we don't you know it's not great being within our own echo chambers which I've learned the hard way over the last few years believe me um but the final bit there's a bit of a mouse and a bit of a lion in all of us and that is really important so we can be big and brash and confident sometimes when it's needed but we don't have to be that all the time we don't have to feel like we have to be that all the time and that's really important because the mouse found his true voice and that is what is important here so you don't have to be big and confident and rah all the time find your true voice find your innate self-worth and your confidence will come from that and Everybody can be friends. Let's all just be nice to each other, you know? Okay, so uh, I've, I've really, I've loved doing this video series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've taken something from it. Um, check out Rachel Bright. If you've, if you've got kids, check out um, the, uh, the rest of her work. The Lion Side is brilliant. Um, my daughter is loving watching um, uh, Love Monster at the moment on CBBS, which is phenomenal. Um, take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Um, all the best for lockdown. See you soon.